Hey everyone, Patrick Ellis here coming to you live on tape from Washington, D.C. Uh, I'm here in my role with the Riverside County Workforce Development Office um, as the chairman of the board. And what we're here for is the National Workforce Development Board Association, our annual conference. And within that conference, what we're doing is working on helping uh, improve our processes, uh, coming up with some new creative ideas of how we can help our workforce uh, train up, uh, whether it's incumbent workers, new workers, youth workers into the into our uh, workforce system. And so what one of the other roles that we're here for is for our advocacy efforts. Um, advocacy is a huge part of what we do. It's what I do, obviously, on a very regular basis. And so uh, we have the opportunity now to really advocate on behalf of the reauthorization of WIOA last week. Uh, a HR 7309 came out of the uh, Labor Committee uh, with a, uh, an actual reauthorization of WIOA. Uh, WIOA technically expired at the end of 2020, uh, has been just going on continuing resolution ever since then. Uh, so we're advocating for that full uh, reauthorization of it and the full funding that comes with that, but also for flexibility within that funding. Uh, today, we had the opportunity to meet with Congressman Calvert's office, Congressman Tucano's office, Congressman Ice's office, and Senator Feinstein's office. And he, at each one of those meetings today, we had really good, robust discussions around that. Uh, and so hopefully we'll have some success with that moving forward. Uh, but I think this has been a, a really good, successful week so far. Uh, looking forward to wrapping this up tomorrow. Uh, happy to come back to Southwest Riverside County working with all of you and hopefully we'll come back with some great news and keep improving our workforce and doing what we can to help our businesses. So thanks for your support and we'll talk to you soon.